Hey there, how's it going? Well, when I talked about civil war in my last video, you know, it, it might not be a physical thing. I mean, I'm sure that could happen, but it may not be a physical thing. You know, it, it could even be just, I mean, this thing that people are calling the culture war could be a civil war of sorts. You know, we, we're in the age of the Internet. We don't necessarily need to be physical about anything. You know, it again, it could go there, but... Uh, and I'm sure there's a number of people out there who want it to become some physical thing. You know, as one person in the comment section accused me of being a boogaloo boy. And I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not wanting there to be a physical, uh, some sort of physical confrontation. I don't want that. I want the difficult discussions to happen. The stuff where people who look at the statistics differently are able to state their hypothesis on why the statistics are the way they are. Number of things that, that need to get discussed that I'm not going to, I'm not going to divulge in this video. It's, it's just, just going to have to happen at some point. Okay. As I said in, 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 in one of my, my text posts, uh, the right needs to gain some empathy and the left needs a dose of reality. Okay, both of those things need to happen. I don't know what order it's going to have to be, but, uh, you know, those things need to happen at some point. The right wing has actually been winning the culture war. The left just doesn't realize it yet. And that's where the problem really comes into place. If we don't let people on the right have their part in the conversation, and we keep trying to sort of use a modified version of the uh, progressive stack to, to, to guide our conversation, we're probably going to see some of the extreme people on the right turn into terrorists. Now, we shouldn't let terrorists uh, run our lives, but we should at least be aware of why they've become this way in the first place. Okay, there is a big risk of the right wing, the, the extreme side of the right wing, becoming even more extreme. Like I've said, you know, dishing out names that end in ist or phobic isn't going to help us anymore. I don't think it ever really did help us, but it's really not going to help us now. Now, thankfully, if we did have a physical civil war, it would probably be short-lived. We can be thankful for that. But I don't think the left is going to win that. If there's a physical uh, confrontation in that sort of manner, um, the right wing seemed a lot more prepared in that area than the left. So, But then the government could step in and then support the left. So, I, I mean, we don't know. We don't know. I do know that if we don't, these difficult discussions can't happen then we're going to prolong the period in which this conflict takes place. You know, call it what you want. I just know on Twitter, it has been ran like a, an over-moderated left-wing forum. I have been on political forums since the late 80s, early 90s. Um... I, I mean, I guess I didn't get that politically and politically involved on them until the early 90s. I, it's just that I've been on message boards and such since since the late 80s. But uh, then in the, uh, the, the, the early 2000s, I, I ran a political forum for seven years. I got to learn, you know, all the ins and outs of moderating a forum and... Um, I wanted to be an example of a forum that didn't just ban people or, or censor people for stating their views. I had a section of the forum that was for hateful content, and I rarely had to use it. Rarely, rarely. Um, yeah, that was, that was kind of neat doing that. But it, 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 when you run like a PHP BB forum, it, it starts to... All the stuff that you have to keep up with, uh, it starts to become pretty tasking. So, and I had some help with a lot of that, but uh, um, I was the primary one doing the moderating on it. And uh, anyway, 
Um, it, it, during those years, I was also on a number of other forums. I'm still on. I'm still on this one called Political Wrinkles that I go to occasionally. But um, the the main thing that I that I really really learned out of out of watching forums come and go is that if you're too far on one side or too far on the other side, your forum's gonna your forum is gonna fail. You know, if you if you make it so everyone is afraid of hurting someone's feelings, yeah, you, you, people on the right leave. And if you make it so people are afraid of stating their views because they're afraid they're going to be torn apart into shreds in, in ridiculous insults, then the left leaves. And Twitter has been this, it ran like a, a, a forum that's went too far to the left, you know? Where it just hurting someone's feelings is considered, you know, just the worst thing ever. And I'm not saying that there aren't people who are, are bullies because there's a lot of bullies out there. There's there's people who want to cause as much harm as they can just because they can. But I think Elon is throwing just enough of a wrench into Twitter that we might have a reasonably moderated platform. We can hope. You know, it might turn out disastrous. It might turn into this free for all, and, and then all these people leave, and then what happens, right? You know, we we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. I just know that 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 something needed to change at Twitter, and and we have a chance of seeing something actually change. It it, it had no chance of changing really any other way. You know, if you're going to go by a committee and and all these group meetings and PR departments and and I should say HR department, PR departments, HR departments, and such, then then it would be exactly the same way as it's been. And we, we need to take a different approach. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. If, if Twitter ends up just completely failing as a result, so be it. Is it needed to fail if, if, if that's really where we are. So anyway, thanks for watching.